Can't you throw them any farther than you have, Ben? Of course I can't if you want to blow the whole place down. That's a general idea. Throw it. Summer is blockbuster season when movie audiences crave action. But summer is also a good time for sitting around and savoring the pleasures of inaction. There's a movie that lets you have it both ways. It's Howard Hawks' Rio Bravo, a celebration of taking it easy. Purple in the canyon. It's about a dusty frontier town threatened by bad guys and defended by a stoical sheriff and his deputies. You always keep that carbon cost? Only when I carry it. The movie has many of the elements of a traditional Western. Saloons, horses, gunfights, gambling. Hold out. Perhaps you've seen all this before. It was certainly familiar in 1959 when Rio Bravo first came out, in the twilight years of the golden age of the Hollywood Western. And the director, Howard Hawks, was already a legendary figure, and he didn't need to reinvent the genre. He had nothing left to prove, so he could do whatever he wanted. And it's this freedom that makes Rio Bravo so fresh and so satisfying. Guess I'll take that drink now, Charlie. I thought you would. Hawks' mastery of complex sequences is certainly on display here. It's evident in beautifully choreographed shootouts, intense confrontations, and in an amazing wordless opening that lays out all of the important elements of the narrative to follow. But the real treasure in this movie is the characters, and the characters who play the characters, a multi-generational grab bag of pop culture icons. There's teen idol Ricky Nelson, kind of the Zac Efron of his day, playing the cool-headed young gunslinger Colorado. I don't want any trouble. Well, then don't start any. I won't, unless I tell you first. There's Angie Dickinson, who some of us remember most vividly from the 70s TV show Police Woman. She plays Feathers, who is in many ways a typical Howard Hawks heroine. Pretty tough, pretty funny, very pretty, and all in all, a pretty good sport. She plays John Wayne's love interest and also, in many ways, his foil. You made me mad, Sheriff. You didn't ask me if I took those cards. So you're going to have to prove I've got them. And the only way I know you can do that is to search me. And there's Walter Brennan, veteran of countless studio westerns, playing a fella named Stumpy. He's a lovable old coot and a one-man comedy show. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing, taking a siesta? Dean Martin, that's right, Dino, who could be quite the actor when he wanted to be. He plays Dude, the former sheriff of the town, a hopeless drunk trying to crawl his way out of the bottle. And there's John Wayne, the Duke himself, as John T. Chance, surely one of his most relaxed, easygoing performances. Chance fights the bad guys when he has to, but he'd much prefer flirting with feathers and kicking back with his deputies. What's most fun in Rio Bravo is just spending time in the company of these characters and watching their relationships shift and grow. And this is what interests Howard Hawks as well, the little bits of magic that pop up when nothing seems to be going on. A lot of the time, summer entertainment is noisy, fast, and dumb. Stop it. Don't close it. Rio Bravo is as entertaining as any movie you will see in a multiplex this summer, but it's slow, quiet, and wise. and spill a drop.